Hi, this is Nick with Merchant Automotive. Here on Mechanics Minute, we're going to show you how to install the Merchant Automotive pump upgrade plate. So when you purchase the pump upgrade kit, you're going to receive one pump plate, one transfer case to transmission gasket, small tube of blue thread locker, and some silver RTV seal. You can option in a set of our magnetic drain plugs and two quart container of our performance transfer case fluid. Check out the install. Some tools you'll need for the job include a 3 8 drive impact battery or air power, 3 8 drive torque wrench, a long flathead screwdriver, two deep well impact sockets, one 10 millimeter and one 15 millimeter, one quarter drive ratchet with a T15 torque drive, one or two uh, snap ring pliers. You'll also need a 18 millimeter wrench and a 19 millimeter wrench and some channel lock pliers. You can either place your transfer case directly on a bench or use a fixture similar to shown in the video. First you'll want to remove the snap ring grommet, then the output shaft speed sensor using your 19 millimeter wrench, then remove the factory drain plugs using your 18 millimeter wrench. You can discard those at this time. Now with your 10 millimeter socket, you will want to start removing all the bolts around the case. Make sure you remember to mark or take pictures of where your brackets go. Use your 15 millimeter socket to remove the last bolt with a stud. The flathead screwdriver will be used here to pry the case apart, gently releasing the silicone all the way around. Use your flathead screwdriver, place it through the speed sensor hole and light pressure pry up on the tone wheel while spreading the output shaft snap ring. You will feel the release of the snap ring in the groove allowing the main shaft to settle down into the front part of the case. At that point remove the rear case half. Here you'll see the factory pump cover that we are removing. This is the anti-rattle clip that is found inside the case. Sometimes it is found in multiple pieces. You will want to remove all pieces. Discard that at this time. Then locate the alignment dowels either in the front or rear case half and remove them for future use. Then with some Scotch-Brite pad you can lightly clean up all the old silicone off the surface it also helps you use some brake clean to release the silicone and wipe it away. Then we'll remove the output shaft bearing retaining snap ring. Slide that off of the shaft, make sure you don't overspread it. Then pull off the output shaft bearing. Take the tone wheel off and notice the step in it. Then remove the pump itself. Here we show the oil pump o-ring seal to oil pump tube. Make sure you don't lose that. Then you can remove the factory magnet, which is located under the pickup screen. I'm going to remove that when installing our magnetic drain plugs. Then you take your quarter drive T15, remove the screws holding the pump together. Make sure you remove the outer ring from the stock pump cover. You can discard the factory pump cover at this time. Now with our pump upgrade you will install the outer ring of the pump, the inner ring of the pump, and then the pump housing onto the pump cover. We will use the blue Loctite on these Torx screws at this time. Go ahead and tighten all the bolts. And make sure that o-ring is seated all the way inside the pump so when you slide the pump pickup tube in it creates a good seal. Again that step on the tone wheel goes down towards the pump and the snap ring groove on the bearing goes up towards the rear case half. Reinstall 
the output shaft bearing snap ring retaining. You can use a flathead screwdriver to make sure it's seated in the groove on the main shaft. The supplied silicone tube, use the cap to puncture the top, spread a very thin bead all the way around the front case half flange, reinstall the alignment dowel pins. Place the rear case half over the main shaft and align it on the dowels, tap it down with a hammer or the end of a screwdriver. Reverse the step, prying slight pressure up on the tone wheel while spreading the output snap ring. You'll feel it, grab a hold of the bearing groove, wiggle it, make sure it's fully seated. Now you'll reinstall all case bolts and brackets back in the original locations. You will want to tighten all these down to 27 foot pounds. After those are tightened down, you can install the magnetic drain plug, leaving the fill plug loose until you get the unit back into the truck where you can then fill it and tighten that down. Now replace the speed sensor and before placing the output shaft snap ring grommet in place, double check that the bearing is fully seated into the case half snap ring. You've done it. Thanks for watching guys.